Highland. Alex and Sam here with your afternoon announcements. After school detention today will be in Mr. Schlarman's room, number 103. Congratulations to the academic team on their victory over Bishop Brossard yesterday afternoon. The academic team will have practice today after school in room 218. Please remember dues of $25 should be turned into Miss Booth uh, after school as soon as possible. A voluntary, a voluntary practice session will be held on Monday evening at the Carrico Library branch from 6.30 to 8.30. 8. Please see Mr. Ross if you have any questions or you plan on attending. This week's counter clue question is, what land animal can spend its entire life without stepping on land? Clues are, it is mainly carnivorous. It, makes a, it mates in March and April. Its lifespan uh, may be as long as 34 years. Stop at the library and take a guess. A reminder to all band members, please pick up your fundraising items immediately after school today in the high school cafeteria. The library is anxiously awaiting more t-shirt designs for our upcoming contest. Your work should inspire others to become literary advocates and be displayed throughout our community to increase the library's public awareness. Stop at the library for an informational packet. We look forward to seeing your designs. Seniors, make sure you are sending your ACT or SAT scores to colleges you are applying to. Application deadlines include test scores in those deadlines. Attention juniors filling in the Governor's Scholar application. The correct essay prompts are on the online application. If the draft application you have in your packet has a prompt that is not online, please disregard this and use the online application. Attention all Tri-M National Music Honor Society members. Our next meeting is today from 2.55 to 3.20. Please remember to be ready for, to pay your dues of $10 officer elections will be held. Sam, over to you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, student Council is sponsoring the canned food drive this week. Raid the pantry and bring in those cans so we can help those less fortunate. Each student should bring in 10 cans or $5. The fourth period class with the most will have ice cream sundaes. Any Spanish club member interested in taking part in the Fort Thomas Holiday Walk should attend a brief meeting in Mrs. Meadows' room right after school on Thursday. If you are in need of service hours, Mrs. Hafey has put a link on her school webpage to work concessions for the upcoming basketball season. A lot of space is available. Also, we will be addressing cards for the local nursing homes this Thursday right after school. Remember, this will count as your first semester service project. For those not able to complete this service project, the Adopt-A-Family Christmas tree will be in Mrs. Hafey's room on Monday, December 1st. More announcements will be coming forth about the Adopt-A-Family project. Attention all sophomores, the application for this year's student ambassador for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Program is now available. If you are a sophomore who would like to represent Highlands and attend this summer program, please pick up an application in Mrs. Walsh's office. Applications are due by Tuesday, November 25th. That is next week, so come and get your application now. Santa House is this Friday at, and Saturday, so if you haven't already, sign up to help with pictures with Santa at Moyer's Santa House. If you are interested in working a three-hour shift, please see Mrs. Walsh in guidance to sign up. Hours can be used for service hours. Seniors, please keep in mind when your application deadlines are. December 1st is the Monday that we get back from this Thanksgiving break, and you need to request transcripts by today if you want that on your application. Again, if you have not requested your transcripts through Naviance and you have a December 1st deadline, you need to do it right now. The January 1st deadline is over our holiday break, so you need to request transcripts for those applications by December 15th. Attention seniors, the Elks will award a scholarship to a Highlands student. The information is in guidance. The application is due back to guidance by December 4th, so please come pick it up. Like we've been talking about all week, the Bluebirds take on the Covington Catholic Colonels on Friday night in the third round of the playoffs right here at David Cecil Memorial Stadium. So Chase got the report from players and coaches on how they're preparing to beat Colonels this week. All right, guys, it's the third round of the playoffs. We're playing Cubcat this week, biggest game of the year. We got a chance to catch up with some football players and staff to see what they have to say about it. Uh, I think we're just going to dominate and try harder. Be Colonels. Be Colonels. Be Colonels. Uh, we're all just going to make sure that we're doing our own job and uh, make sure we're covering our own spots and be Colonels. Be Colonels. Be Colonels. Well, I think basically we've got to show up for the game. We show up to the game, we're beating Colonels. Be Colonels. Be Colonels. Be Colonels. All right, guys, can't wait to see you guys there. Please bundle up. It's going to be a cold one. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Chase. Don't forget the game starts at 7 p.m. this Friday right here at home. So make sure you come out, support our birds, beat Colonels. Alex, over to you. Thanks, Sam. Tomorrow for lunch, we'll be having in line one, the grab and go, barbecue chicken, pub burger, cheeseburger. And in line two, the sandwich line, ham, turkey, salami, and cheese, chicken, Caesar, buffalo, chicken, tuna salad, and toppings. And in line three, the hotline, foot long conies. Have an excellent Wednesday, Highlands.